everybody, welcome to another episode of the Random Hour. As always, I'm your co-host, Devin More More Sports. I've got the host, which in this video, he's to my left, Kyle, Kyle Crump. And we have a special guest with us today, Lori Brooks. She's a streamer, and we're going to give her the floor real fast to introduce herself before we dive on in. Lori, the floor is yours. Hi. Hi, everybody. I'm Lauren, and I am a streamer. I stream mostly Skyrim, but really anything the chat asked me to stream, honestly. Um, I'm 28, and I'm new to streaming, but I've been gaming probably since I was like four or five. So shout out to my dad for being a gamer, being a, a Gen X gamer, and putting a controller in my hand when I was four. Nice. Started me off right. Yeah, he was like, you know what? You want to play games? I was like, sure. So, yeah, that's, yeah. A low-key Lauren 96 on all my platforms, though. Okay. Um, so, speaking of gaming, as as a gamer, what are some games that you have ex that have a significant meaning for you? I'm going to go with the games I started off with when I was a kid. Because uh, they just, they kind of started me off. Um, Yoshi's Island oh, yes. was one of them. Yeah. Yes. yes. The Nintendo 64. I had a Super Nintendo, yeah. a Nintendo 64, and a Sega Genesis. So Yoshi's Island, uh, every day after school. Every day. With a Butterfinger in my hand, like, playing the game. And then uh, Mortal Kombat on the Sega, I think, and Street Fighter on N64. I think that was on Street Fighter was on N64 as well. So those are those are my top three that like really they they got me into gaming and it was it was all I did after that. <laughs> Yoshi's Island is goaded it though. Is. So growing up we had Nintendo sixty four, which is at my parents' house. God I wish I had it. A Super Nintendo we never had the Sega stuff, though. We always had to get the, uh, like, Nintendo ports, like the original Sonic games on the Game Boy. Any Game Boys? Any of them? Yes. Okay. I So I didn't... Pl My brother had a Game Boy, but he never let me play it. So it was just strictly, like... Um, me on the on the N sixty four or the Sega because my brother wouldn't me wouldn't let me play the Game Boy. It was like the it wasn't even a Game Boy Color. I don't remember when the Game Boy Colors came out, but it was the it was the one before. Uh, I think he had like an original. It was was it the rectangular one or was it like one like this? It was it was rectangular. Yeah, the green. Uh -huh. It was yeah. It was like it was like longer this uh -huh. way. And you had to have the Nintendo I, light. Yep. The, the one with the batteries in the back that you had to have like the special light yep. for. Yeah. yeah. I've got some. Those were on my first Game Boy because uh, they were hand-me-downs, and I played Pokemon uh, Red like crazy on it. Oh, man, so. yeah. I've sent a lot of road trips playing Pokemon Red and Blue with that little Nintendo light. You're just like, all right. And that Nintendo light probably costs like 10 bucks. Now if you go on eBay, it's Skyrocket. Just like the original. Uh, I know this isn't Game Boy from Nintendo DS. I was looking for Pokemon Soul Silver and Heart Gold. It's like over a hundred bucks from the Nintendo DS game. When it came out, mm -hmm. retail wasn't even hundred bucks back in the day. Hold on, Devin. Do you still have your DS? Yeah, I still have my DS. I still play it. Man. Yo, my mom put mine in the washer. No. <laughs> my mom put I... my shit in the washer. My Nintendo dogs. No, dead. not the Nintendo They're dead. No. They're dead. They're dead. Hold on now for the homies. They're dead. They're dead. I feel so bad. I had so many. Took them for walks every day, and then my mom washed my shit. They're probably wondering what happened to me. Oh, no, oh. nothing. Scribble Knots was a good one on the DS. Oh, man. I played uh, Nintendogs on the DS, and then... Do you guys remember Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? Yes. I'm rewatching it right now. There was a game. There was a Nintendo DS game. And you, like, had to go up the floors. Hold on a minute. It is somewhere in this apartment. I think it's in my closet. Yes. And they you they had a game for the Nintendo DS that you had to go up the floors or whatever yes. and like ride the little elevator or the little the, the little There uh, was there thing. was a whole mini game with the bellhop yes. uh, thing where you had to go like through the hall. Yes. You're the first person I've ever met that remembers that game Yo, other than my sisters. We used to play we used to play the heck out of that game. Me and my cousins used to be arguing. 
mm. and then over like who had that game because you had to have the little thing you couldn't just have it downloaded off oh, the days yep. the days when you actually had to pass the game over to somebody so they could play it you couldn't just like <laughs> or they had to stop being poor and buy it themselves uh, you ain't mm-hmm. lying. but that was a good game i played that and nintendogs and that was like it or there was like some sort of hospital game some sort of vet game yeah. where you were like a vet to these animals. I think it was just a vet game on there. I think those are the only three games I had until my mom washed my Nintendo DS and it never worked again. Put it in the washer. It was in a pocket. It was in a coat pocket of mine. Oh. It was technically oh. my fault. Dang. Another one, Nintendo DS. Dude, I have so many. I have so many Dragon Ball Z games from Nintendo DS, Nintendo Dogs, uh, the Pokemon Rangers, Pokemon Soul Silver. Heart Gold, which I've lost those two. RIP to those. Oh, man, Nintendo DS was great. But, uh, let's see. One of the games that I really like, because it's funny, we grew up on Nintendo with Yoshi. What about Paper Mario for Nintendo 64? That was another one. What is it? Paper Mario. Paper Mario? Paper Mario. I had Mario's Missing. Oh, no, no. Not that. Mario, Mario's Missing was... It was not it. I got mad at that game. But I never had Paper Mario, I don't think. Dude. I had Street Fighter. I remember playing that one. And then I had uh, Mortal Kombat. Street Fighter, the only way I like... I just like that for the army guy with the flat top. Yeah. I, it's ironic yeah. today, earlier today this morning. I naturally get up early for work, so even on my off days, I naturally wake up. I was watching a Street Fighter movie this morning with Clon Van Dan. That movie did. Back it up. They made a movie? Yeah, it's on Netflix right now. Just type in Street Fighter. Is it new or old? No, 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 no. no. It came out in like in 99. Van... That's like they, when they did that uh, Mortal Kombat movie that came Wait a that came out in like 99, like the old yes. one. Oh. And then the new one's much it better. Extreme... Devin, wasn't this one like critically hated? Yeah, where's my copy of? Street Fighter? Yeah. yeah. It's, I watched it, I was like, yeah, you can tell this is a 90s movie, but I enjoyed it for the costumes. So yeah, go. 90s movies weren't bad, they're just, some of them oh. were ahead of their time. Hold on, Devin. Devin, Josh Jefferson said to this movie, uh, <laughs> this is a good fighting game, I just beat um, Saturn version with SAG. I hear the original arcade best is in PS1. Is the second, but this is the very good, great graphics. I think he, <laughs> the more he goes on, I'm starting to think he thought this was the game I itself. Think so. Oh my goodness, <laughs> dude. He gave it He three just had stars. a controller the whole time he was watching <laughs> yep. in his hand. He was like, oh, I'm doing so good. Well, this storyline. Well, Bison in the game, which is great in the movie, Bison in the movie, he's got like this like Eggman thing he floats on. And it's an arcade machine. He's got like the joysticks and buttons. I'm like, really? Really? They did this in 99. Because back then, only two Street Fighter games were out when this movie came out. And I was like, alright, worth it. Golly. Yeah, so it's ironic that Street Fighter got brought up to get today. So our next question is, which game of yours is just a guilty pleasure? Like, you're like, I don't care what anybody says, I love this game regardless. It's Roblox. Roblox? It's Roblox. Yo, I don't give, I don't care if it's nothing but children on there, okay? Roblox, has, have you guys ever, like, got on Roblox and looked at what's on there? Like, there's all kind of stuff. My brother's, uh... I've had to because of my nephew. I know, like, kids, right? You think about, like, oh, children play this game, right? But, like, I... I love Roblox. The horror games on Roblox? Yeah, my brother... I've jumped. My brother actually has this video game on Roblox, so I, I know about. Really? He's a I like, game I developer. Like, yeah, he, yeah, I listen. I love. Yeah, he created. I don't care what anybody says. He created, you probably played it. Roblox. You like horror games? He created Bacon. Bacon. Mm-hmm. I probably have played it. Beer games. The food. I don't know. Yes, Kyle. I'll kill it. Is I feel like I probably I listen. I've played a lot of the horror games on there. They're, I'm telling you, they. I don't know what it is about Roblox, but I don't care if people dog on me for it. Like, there are people, like, adults our age, and they're like, I, I tell them I play Roblox, they're like, you play games with children? or And I was like, no, 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 no. That's I play Roblox YouTuber. by myself. I, listen, 
like I said, my brother's a game developer. His own, he has his own video game company. He posts on Roblox. And my youngest brothers are 21. They're about to be 21 years old. And they all three play religiously. I'm over here like, give me my Xbox controller. I can't get into it. Let me go back to Minecraft and die. Yeah, I'm going to Minecraft and I'm going to go die. And go hang out with Steve. God, that movie trailer just came out. It's Steve. <laughs> that Minecraft. Anybody? I just found out you could uh, download, like, get skins off the internet for Roblox. Mm -hmm. And not be, like, noob. Don't be a noob? Yeah, I just figured out that you don't have to be a noob. A noob. A noob. Because, like, uh... I, I just thought you had to go with whatever there was, like the options. I just thought you had to go with that. And I didn't know until someone was like, no, just go online and look up Minecraft skins and download them and put them mm. on your person. And I was like, dang, no idea. I had no idea until like last week. Uh, that's okay. Speaking of which, has anybody seen that Minecraft trailer yet for that movie? I just referenced it. Dude, the Minecraft. It, oh, was that real? Yes. I thought that was no, fake. No, that's real. Unfortunately, really, yes. Unfortunately, it's real. It is not an SNL skit. It looked like an SNL skit, but it was real. I like, thought I thought it was fake. I thought like someone was trying to like prank people. No. Oh, We're well, I might it. I might watch it. it. It looks like it's gonna be geared towards kids. I I wish they would go the Sonic route and kind of make it. I don't know. Some of the movies that are geared towards kids are not bad. At They're all. not normally. But when they do like video game ones, Mario, a lot of the, time, the Mario movie was Mario good. Movie was Mario it was good. Of course, it was animated. Well, it was. Yeah. Is mm -hmm. this gonna be like? Is the I need to look at the trailer. I need to look at the trailer for the Minecraft movie because I only watched like the first like I saw it pop up and I was like, ah, that's fake, and I kept going. So from the trailer, they're all real people in Minecraft, basically. And that's I, what I, I saw, and I thought it was yeah. fake. Yeah. I thought and somebody I just like, made it up. I, I just wish they would make them animated. I'm okay with the, that that cast list. Just make them animated. Make it be down. okay. Everybody. They put them in like a ro uh, or a, like a Minecraft looking place, but they're real. It's mm -hmm. so weird. Wow. And like everything's that weird CGI hybrid, and you just got Jack Black who just pulled up the studio. He's like, just give me a green shirt. I'm Steve. All right, I'm going. No, it's blue shirt, yeah, but yeah. Blue shirt, green shirt. And then Jason Momoa is like, I run a video game day store. And then you got your cliche brother and sisters are like, I don't like you. I like you. Let's be friends. And then, like, it's a weird synopsis. Uh, the TikToker 3D, 3D, uh, 3D videos or whatever, he reviews popcorn buckets on TikTok. He, he reads the synopsis, and I'm like, oh boy. Here we go. Wait, he reviews our podcast? No, he, he reviews popcorn, like the actual like movie popcorn buckets. Oh, God, if he listened to our popcorn buckets, he'd be like, he would have a... Is there a different popcorn bucket? Wait, are you talking about like actual popcorn buckets you get from movie yeah, theater? he goes out and he buys like those $40 popcorn buckets. I wouldn't buy Okay, I thought you were talking about our podcast, and I was like, we have that big of a fan or a hater? We have a hater, come on. We're a hater. We got a, we got a hater. Listen, I will always be our number one hater. I will have you know that. Yeah, whatever. Tell Laura that you trolled me for like a month on our YouTube channel as some troll because I was like, dude, who keeps hating on us? You made a fake account? <laughs> you made, made multiple... a fake account just to have a hater? <laughs> I made multiple fake accounts. Don't mess with Evan. Yeah, because when we first launched our Horrible. YouTube channel, he was like, I'm going to have fun with this. And he didn't tell me. And I'm just getting all these noobs just roasting us. I'm like, dude. In my defense, I made this a long time ago, before we even started the podcast, before we even started the YouTube, back when he had to like post something for a college project, and he just posted that one video. And so I made a bunch of fake accounts, like commenting on it. And it's just like, what the dude, hell, dude. hating on your own stuff. I helped him edit the video, so I feel like I get that, <laughs> I get that right. Get that right. It's okay. Yeah. He, uh, there was, Kyle's like, can I create a fake Twitter account where we just hate on our Twitter account? And I was like, no, I don't want to deal with that neither, because then I'm going to think someone's ex, because that'll open up a floodgate. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. But all right, question number three, Kyle, all yours. Uh, what is your snack of choice? So my chat knows. Um, 
every time I stream and I go get a snack, I usually bring back like tortilla chips and and cheese dip or or like regular salsa or sometimes I mix them. That's that's my snack. That's my go-to snack while I'm streaming for sure. It's just easy. It's just really really easy. Although my keyboard and my controller and all that kind of gets gross in the meantime, but whatever. It's fine. It's just easy to just dip a chip in some dip and then eat it really quick while you're streaming and not have to like stop and make it a whole thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's my go-to. What's my your go -to. favorite type of cheese dip? The, so you guys know, you can go into like the, the, the cold section of the stores mm -hmm. and get like the actual like Mexican restaurant yeah. queso and those little square yes. and there's like nothing in it. It's just the queso and then you heat it up. And usually I'll take like salsa because of the Mexican restaurant. I'm, I'm mixing them together anyway. Oh yeah. Like a weirdo. But some, some people think that's weird, but it's good. Oh, no, I, do it okay. and, I mix them with hot sauce. Yeah, I did with a hot sauce or just take like the hot um, salsa and just mix a little bit of that in there to give it some flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my go-to because they, they literally came out with like the Mexican restaurant style cheese dip in a little container. And I have, I go through it like it's probably not good for me how much I go through. No, don't worry. At Mexican restaurants, me and my wife are the same way. But lately when we eat it, we've been doing, uh, um, I'm going blank, chinch. I can't say it. It starts with a C. It's not queso, but it's like queso with like little chunks of meat. Is it green? No, it's like some of it's like a bright orange. Um, um, chancero. I don't know. Anyways, I mix them too, so don't worry. You're not alone. I mix all sorts of crazy stuff. Okay, I would say as long as you, because some people, I when I go to like take the salsa from the bowl at the Mexican restaurant and like start dumping a little bit into my cheese dip, people are like, what are you I'll doing? Do I'm like, you gotta mix them. You gotta mix them. Oh, and I hate rice. I can't. I'm at when I'm at the Mexican restaurant. They're like, you want rice? Yeah, I'll take the salsa bottle. The ones that'll give you like the salsa bottle, pour. and I pour it. I'm like, I'm the, pour it on your rice. rice. Yes, I do the same thing, and people look at me like I'm crazy for that too. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, you guys don't. The rice is just kind of plain. Like, you gotta spice it up somehow. See, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Devin, is it <laughs> chilchero? You're not, yeah, there, you're not alone. You said it right, Kyle. Chilche chilchero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chilchero sauce. It's like. Yeah, he said it right. I don't think I've had that one. It's pretty good. It's kind of like hot sauce. It's a hot pepper sauce. Um, it's listed as salsa though, but it looks like it's just a bottle of hot sauce. Yeah. It's... Judging from uh, John, uh, Don Juan. Don Juan. Juan. Yes. Oh God, yes. No, I'm. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not alone because when I, my wife will look at me. This was years ago when we first started dating, when we went to Mexico, and she's like, why are you dumping sauce on your rice? I'm like, it's so plain. and no one. It's so plain. You have to add something to it. It's much better I, if you I like a little salsa. kick. Just... So I like hot sauce, and I'll, I'll, I'll coat that thing. <laughs> he will. That's the way to go. We be sweating at the end of the night. <laughs> no, what, what happens is I'll be with my girlfriend, and I'll be like, here, do you want something? And she'll be like, Sure, and then she'll be like, ah, ah, and I'm like, what's wrong? And I'll be eating it, and I'll have no idea what's wrong. She's like, it's too high. And I'm like, yeah, no, when we do, cause, is it no? though? See, Kyle has a hot, you know, he can handle hot food. I can't anymore because as we're getting older, and we have a Super Bowl bet, and last year I got the hottest wings because the bet is, uh, no, you didn't. It wasn't last year. It was a couple of years ago. Years. Every year we do the same bet um, where the winner buys uh, – the winner of the bet, the other person buys the wings, but we spiced it up for what was it, 2021, 20, where we're like, you know what? Let's make it interesting since we're watching together. If they score within this margin uh, – you the other the loser picks out the flavor of the wings um and he won and then i won the the score tally and so i picked out my typical um range of spicy and devin ate it he's like this isn't that bad 15 minutes later yeah, i'm sitting in a beat up. and i'm like you good you good yeah my chest would be on fire, especially like if I eat it and then go try to lay down. Like I need a Tums. 
getting to that age, we need a Tums after you eat something spicy. Oh, I started to get concerned. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I, I'm, he leaves. I'm sitting there with Megan. I'm like, I think I just killed Devin. <laughs> Laying there sweating, passed out on the table at a beat ups. It's too hot. It's too hot. Oh, man. That's horrible. Oh, I mean, that's what happens when you're friends for so long. You don't mean it, but it's like we gotta, we gotta try new things, new palettes. Ugh, man. Gloria, so our next question is what is your favorite game franchise of all time? You can, you've already mentioned some of your older ones, but if you have a more recent one, like a newer game, you can save it as well. So the fr the two two franchises really that are my absolute favorite, like I would die for. It. They've been making games since PlayStation One, which is where I started, and they still make them today. The first one being Resident yep. Evil, and I played the first three on PlayStation One, and then I played the they remastered them and and put them out, and I played those. But I pl I've played the rest of them too. But the first three are just they're goaded. Um, and then Tomb Raider. Um, they, they, Tomb Raider was born in 96 and, um, I played, I played that on the PlayStation one, the first three, and then I've played every single Tomb Raider game that's came out as well since, and they still make them and they're still coming out with more as well. And then I know Resident Evil just came out with Resident Evil uh, Village or something like that. So those are my, those are my two. If I had to pick one over the other, it would probably be Resident Evil, um, just because I like horror a little bit more, but they're both very close. Like I, I, I couldn't pick if there was a gun in my head. I don't think, honestly, though. <laughs> I think you can have more than one yeah. favorite. I those are my two. They're my franchise. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. They they're still making games. Mm -hmm. They're still coming out. They're still doing. Although Resident Evil has gotten kind of wild. Um, yeah. I haven't played the newest one that just came out, Village, uh, but hopefully soon. Yeah, my. But the first three are just the best to me. See, I'm a fan. I, I'm a fan of six. My my wife's the same way. She was like you. She started playing from the PS1 era, and she plays them all. Watches the movies. But Village. The movies were Village good. Is wild. What? Just wait. You'll you'll like Village. I yeah. I'm gonna try it, but I haven't yet. Oh man, but. And then Tomb Raider's coming out with movies still. Like the first ones, they had Angelina Jolie in, and then they came out with the the, the last one that they had a few years back, and that one was really good. Mm -hmm. um, the, yeah, I don't know what it is about Tomb Raider. I've just always been a huge fan. I thought I was Laura Croft as a kid. I for sure did. I was one of those kids going outside and like trying to climb trees, like I was, like I was in the game. But I don't know. If I, I honestly, those are my two. I can't think of any other series that's still continuing that that I like more than those two. I would say my top two favorite, number one, and this might get a lot of hate, is the Assassin's Creed series. I love the Assassin's Creed series. Those are good. Those are good. Yeah, I mean... Devin doesn't talk about uh, Assassin's Creed as much as you would think. But I love them. I play I'm I'm I... It's like in every couple of years when a new game comes out. Hey so let me tell you about my my special interest. Assassin's Creed. My special interest. And I'm like, oh, it is about that time again. Well, Assassin's Creed Shadow is about to come out this November, and I still haven't beaten Mirage, but I'm ready for Assassin's Creed Shadow. I'm gonna have so many phone calls. Dude, Assassin's Creed Shadow, we gonna be a ninja and a samurai? Dude, sign me up. I'm gonna run around Fatal Japan. Oh, I'm ready. Feudal Japan, but yes. Oh man, and then my number two. It's probably, and this one might get a lot of hate too, because I know it's kind of been trash, or it's getting better, is I love the WWE games. Like you, the first one was like, again, from Nintendo 64, my oldest brother and dad bought WCW Nitro on Nintendo 64, and so like I buy those games every couple years now, but I love them. Those are my top two. I think we had, I think we had one of those for N64, but I never... My my brother and my dad were more into the the sport. The I couldn't. The only thing I played with them that I can enjoy was like oh, what was that game like Twisted Metal? Do we remember oh, that game? I know it's not a sport game, but it was like a cart. You had to like I don't even remember the concept. They came out with a show. Yeah, Twisted Metal. Not there were like crazy ago. people, and there was like a clown. And it was a clown. A sweet tooth, I think, yeah, was his Twisted name. Yeah, and he like the, drove an ice cream truck. Drove an ice cream truck. Yeah, those are the. 
But my they had different um, game tastes than I did. So, like, that was the only one I played with them because every other game was, like, some sort of sport game that they played. Dude, I love Twist. I love the TV <laughs> show. Have you watched the TV show, though? I didn't Wait. watch it yet, but I heard it was it was yeah. good. What? I think the big one for me has always been Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Pokemon. <gasps> yeah. Come on. Get it. I started from the beginning. I worked out my way all the way through. And then just different stuff like that. I, I love fighting games, though. Uh, I'm always good at them at, at parties and stuff. I don't want to talk about Mario Party. Um, <gasps> well, I was, I was thinking about in, Injustice, about how when you would oh, cause... hang out in the dorm, I would always, like, decimate anybody that came through except for Isaiah. Dude, listen. And we would go toe-to-toe, and we'd be Batman versus Superman the entire time. <gasps> the entire time. Yes, the Injustice mm-hmm. series is I'm good sure thing. most people did that with Injustice. Well, I was that guy. I took oh, yeah. Green Arrow and I just spazzed him with the bow. He was the worst type, of person. worst type of person. I was that person. Uh, Kyle, ask the next question. But, um, I was about to, and then you started talking. Are you chasing the dog under the table no, again? Table. Okay, that's what I that's said. That's what he said? Okay, you're on a road trip. Uh, what songs are you putting on the road trip playlist? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, specific songs? I think just general artists are okay too. Like just something you vibe with. Or your aura is with yeah, it. My aura, not aura. <laughs> my aura. So I'm a classic rock. So, like, we're playing, like, Led Zeppelin and ACDC and, you know, like, I'm, I'm really big into classic rock. And any, everyone, most everyone can vibe to classic rock, I think. Most everyone. Mm-hmm. So, like, I think that's usually what I, what I go for on a, on a long drive. Like, Queen. Um, I do like a, some um, ABBA. Do you guys know ABBA? It's like Dancing Queen and was it Mamma Mia? Like, those are, that's yeah. not really classic rock but those are good sing-along songs and i think most everybody can sing along to classic rock like some okay. some def leopard yeah black sabbath has always been a good one on the line we almost got a black sabbath cover oh, band yeah we did the black sabbath cover band they're gonna stay nameless no. uh, they're gonna stay nameless no we'll tell you after the podcast yeah, I'll tell you that story. just remind us <laughs> what the name was yeah. okay black sabbath cover band got oh, it man. but Lori, here at the random hour we like to nerd out about all sorts of crazy stuff besides video games is there anything else you like to nerd out about um vinyl records i collect them like a lot okay. of them but there, it started off with like my my grandparents gave me some vinyl records, and then from then on out, like I got a record player, I got some nice stereo, nice stereo, nice speakers, and so I collect vinyl records now. And I'm a big nerd. Like I'll go through like a record shop and and look through until I find exactly what I'm looking for. Do you? Is it a lot of uh, classic rock? A lot of, yeah, a lot of it's classic. I do have a lot of, like, um, 50s and 60s music, too, because I started off with my grandparents' stuff. And then, so I look for a lot of that. And then I have some new stuff. Like, for whatever reason, I have, like, Billie Eilish on vinyl. Um, Yeah, I I don't know. I just, some of the new stuff is okay, but, like, the original, like, like, the stuff I got from my grandparents, like, those were when vinyls were, like, out and, like, and so they're really good, and they're they're you can easily mess them up. So, but I play them all the time anyway. God, yeah. There's actually, like I said, I'm a middle school teacher now this year, and one of the teachers that I was covering for, she had a vinyl record in her classroom, and it was like a one of the Disney ones. And I looked at the kids. I said, "Y'all even know how to work this?" No, coach, we don't know how to work it. I was just like, okay. And I just stared at it because I also didn't know how to work it. But that's cool that it's coming back. It is. It is coming back. They're a big thing. 
the record stores, the well, record stores have kind of always been around, but it, if you go to Walmart, they have a whole record section now. But the, the new vinyls are completely different from the old vinyls. It's like the material, whatever they're made out of is different. I don't know if you've looked at an old one compared to a new one. They just look, you could probably Google it and they would show you the difference, but they're, they're made out of like this different plastic or something. I don't even know what it is. They're just made different. Are they, they like lighter or thinner? They're lighter and thinner. And then the whatever they're made out of is like completely different. It's like super smooth and you can't feel like the grooves in it like you can the old ones. Mm -hmm. Like they're whatever they're made out of is completely different. But they still sound good. I still think the oh. old ones, the OGs, sound way better. They but... have like a different feeling though. Yeah, they that. have like when you feel them. Yeah, when you like hold an old one next to a new one, you, like you can tell that they're completely different. I used to listen to a lot of Johnny Cash and Johnny Cash, Elvis Presley on. I album. oh, I have um. See, I'm like you, best in a vinyl. I still collect CDs, which this is George Floyd. Yes, this is their second album. Anything goes. Back in like the great year 2014. My grandmother was a huge Elvis fan, so I got a lot of her Elvis records. Some of them unopened mm -hmm. that would have been, like, they were out. They were probably expensive back in the day because they were, like, just hit the stores and they were unopened. I think it was Moody Blue, and the vinyl is actually blue. The vinyl nice. itself is blue. Yeah, his Moody Blue album. Really, really cool. I have an unopened one and an opened one. And I think, actually, my cousin took the unopened one, actually. Okay. Um... Just because we had two of them, so. Yeah. Probably worth something now. Why well, probably is. Um, how is your current playthrough of Skyrim so far? So I'm doing a blind vanilla run, like no mod. Because I had never played before. Like when it came out and it was popular, I was playing like Call of Duty zombies all the time. Like that was my thing when, when Skyrim originally came out. So I never even looked at it. Um. So I'm doing a blind vanilla run. I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. And then my chat gives me like a lot of different suggestions. Like they're like, you should do this. You should do this. You should do this. So I try to, I do whatever, but it's interesting. I like Skyrim. I do. Um, there are some other games that I've played that I like a little bit better, but I think I'm going to try to see it through with Skyrim because I like it. I don't know. Have you guys played it? I haven't beaten it. Yes. So in college, I got it on Xbox. And I played a bunch until somebody read me my Xbox. And then, luckily, my Xbox worked again for about a week. And then that same person read me my Xbox again. Not the red ring. Not the death it ring. The death ring. And I s You've never uh, played I, death? I have. But here's the thing. I just like Minecraft. I died every five minutes. You died? Okay, I do die a lot, but you have to quick save. Just I know. Quick save as quick as you can. Trust me. Keep quick saving. That because my chat. Anytime they think I'm about to die, they're like, "Quick save, quick save," and I'm like, "Oh, oh trust me." So I have to hurry. I'm playing Star Wars: Night of the Old Republic two on my Switch, and that's a game where you've got to save. So, if, but if you die, there's no like automatic checkpoint. So wherever you last saved last, so let's say you. That's yeah. where you are. So let's say if you play for a good two hours and you die, you just lost two hours. No. I would rage. I would throw that thing across the room. Uh, trust me. That's another older game. Oh, I forgot. I have the. I actually still have a physical copy of Knights of the Old Republic with the manual and everything on the original Xbox. And I still play it from time to time. Because I'm trying to rebeat it. But I'm struggle busted. So, may I remind you of... January 6th. No, what happened January 6th? So he was playing, what was it, Battlefront? Oh yeah, Battlefront. And he's like, man, this game is really hard. I keep dying. And I was like, Devin, th th they've infiltrated the capital. Yeah, that's great. No, I keep dying in Battlefield, though. I, <laughs> when you said January 6th, I was like, you guys were there? No. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Just you no, said he... January 6th, and that's the only thing that comes to mind when somebody says January 6th. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, no. So I, I was, like, devastated. I was like, Devin, they infiltrated the Capitol. And he goes, yeah, that's great, no. But I keep dying in this video game. I got so mad I had to the stop. Only, like, third world problems. And then later that night, 
he calls me at about eight o'clock. Oh my gosh, Kyle, you won't believe what happened. I was like, did you die on battlefield again? No, they infiltrated the Capitol. I'm like, I've been telling you that. Yeah, because everybody was texting me and I was playing Battlefield. I was like, and I'm thinking, and this is going to sound bad, but I thought everybody was gaming too on a different game. I'm like, all right, dude, that's great. I'm trying to win. And then my dad came into my room. He's like, hey, uh, you might want to come watch this on TV. And I was like, oh, my God. And that's when I called Kyle. That's why I called Kyle, our friend Tommy, and everybody else. I say, hey, you guys know what happened? Yes, Devin, we were trying to tell you that for the past hour. I'm sorry, guys. I was playing Battlefield. You lose track of time in a video oh, game. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Let's... That makes me laugh to this day. I hope you know I this, mean, Devin. It, it happened. All right. Lori, are there, since you, is there, are there any games that you haven't streamed yet that you want to stream? I want to stream some. I want to stream some horror games, but I'm I'm um. I don't know what yet. Like I really want to get the Resident Evil Village and stream it. I think that would be good to stream. I've seen a, a few other people stream it, and um, it looks pretty good. I just try not to watch too much because I don't want any spoilers. But I think I would either stream that or. The remake of Resident Evil 4. They remade as Resident Evil 4, and I haven't done the remake yet. I did the remake of the first three. So I, I want to stream. It's some sort of horror game, definitely. But I'm, I'm thinking between those two. You could play through, like, the... Oh, my gosh, it just got really dark. <laughs> you could um, play through Resident Evil, like, from start to finish. I know. And then, like, post it to your YouTube. Yeah, I so I there's there's not much on my YouTube's and I was like, well, I don't want to I don't I stream on TikTok mostly, but I'm thinking I should just like take that and then like or or record me like through um Streamlabs or something, just record me playing stuff and then that go on like my YouTube mm-hmm. instead of actually streaming on YouTube, which I might get into that. I just like streaming on TikTok because I like the little gifts. Yeah. Believe it or not, yeah. Golly. Uh, here's another one. Did you ever play the Silent Hill franchise? I tried it. I don't think I ever did like a full. I should. I should. I really want to stream more horror games. I really do. The problem is, is that I'll pause it every time I get scared. It's okay. I'm going to have to go turn on the light. I'm no, sorry, Devin. Keep talking. It's okay, Lord. At least you're not... He said it got dark out of nowhere. Yeah. It did get dark it out did. of nowhere. It's that time of year. No, it's okay. Just always remember, you won't be like that comedian that literally told a bunch of people in Atlanta that his superpower was pooping his pants, so don't worry. Now that's scary. I came back, and I knew what was going on, and I still was not ready for that. that's the quote of the day. I'm going to clip this part of the episode. Just always remember, don't be scared over a video game. It could always be worse. You could poop yourself in a comedy show in Atlanta. You can poop yourself. Listen, that man wanted his superpower to be... Pooping his pants on command. Uh, that is not something I actively think. I'm like, oh yeah, that's a normal that power to have. That doesn't sound like a superpower to me. Like, it sounds like a not so superpower. It sounds like incontinence. But... <laughs> I just think he was a young kid that had a joke and he thought it worked. It didn't work. That or he had a king. I think he really had to use the bathroom. <laughs> Maybe he had to poop. <laughs> Got five minutes. That's all I could think about. <laughs> Let's just hope for the best. <laughs> what is your comfort show or movie? I feel like this is a typical girl answer, but it's probably anything to do with like true crime. I feel like that's whatever. I don't know why women like true crime, but it, that that's it. Anything to do with like. Um, uh, well, I like horror movies, obviously. I did just anything horror. But, like, then true crime is, like, really the scariest if you think about it because it's stuff that's really happened. And so true crime, as far as shows go, I like psychological, like, thrillers as far as movie goes. So that's my go-to. But really I'll watch anything if it looks good, if the preview looks good. And Devin, do you want me to go first, or do you want to go, go first? Okay, right. because I know this this is in a similar field. My girlfriend will get on TikTok, and so 
randomly uh, get into cave diving and stuff. And she's like, you're not allowed to go cave diving. And I'm like, like, right now? Or just in general, in general? And I'm like, can I ask why? Cave diving? Mm -hmm. And she's like, because I don't want you to die in a cave. And I'm just like, well, that wasn't on my itinerary, but okay. And I'm like, what's going on here? And she goes, oh, I just watched like 47 TikTok videos about people that die in caves. people dying in caves? Yes. And like, it's like a whole like documentary thing on how they had to retrieve the body, how the person ended up dying, the mistakes they made that led up to them getting stuck and dying. I think I've seen a few of those because sometimes I'll get stuck on, sometimes I'll get stuck on like um, amusement park disasters. Mm-hmm. Have you guys I ever like just the amusement park? Out, yeah. Listen, if you I Google have like to a carny, so. disaster videos, like people on the internet make like a compilation of disaster videos, and then I never want to ride. And I love roller coasters, but I never want to ride a roller coaster again when I watch some That's of these. Okay. I used to be severely underweight as a kid so i was able to slide out of the bars that's happened to me on tower of terror at disney no way oh my gosh i was so little and you know how it drops i had to hold on to like everything because i was sliding up out of it because i've always been small too so we were on tower of terror and the person that had our ponchos and it was raining they let go and they're all flying up and so me being small I slid up enough. I would go every time we went up. I would grab another one, and I was not in my seat. No, yeah, I well, I like, got scared the first time it happened. Like when you just slide up, and I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm dying. This is. I was like, I oh, I'm dead. I might as well grab the ponchos. And so I'm sliding up. The only thing keeping me in my seat was my feet. Like I I wrapped my leg around the bar, and I was able to like somewhat stand but my butt was not in the seat no yeah i just remember my whole butt like lifting up off the seat and i was like oh no this is where i die that mm-hmm. that is scary and i told I my like, mom afterwards i was like yo i almost died yeah and then i had like a fear of roller coasters after that because i was like yeah i've almost died one too many times that you- this, this is a pattern <laughs> This is a pattern. Roller coasters are dangerous. And then you watch those videos that they make, and then you're like, yeah, maybe we should never do this again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I used to work at, so we live near Six Flags Over Georgia, where we both grew up. So I worked there for a semester in college, because I was like, oh, why not? I always wanted to work in a theme park. No, bro, when I learned they hot. Nobody's like close. Have you, have you ridden a roller coaster since nope. you worked there? I haven't been back ever since I quit. Yeah, exactly. I have been back since I quit. See? I, I left. Too many disasters. I just, it wasn't even that when I learned that they hire 90% of their uh, employees are kids and they're going through intense roller coaster training. I was like, I'm good. I don't trust roller coasters anymore. I'm just going to go cook hot dogs. That's the go-to. Wow. Stay away from all of the incidents. They have kids, literal, literal kids. Now that I'm older and I go places and they've got kids working there, I'm like, wait a minute. There's children here. We've got children working here. Especially places like that. It's like you're younger than me and you're helping me attach my seatbelt. You're checking my seatbelt. No, thank you. I'm an adult. I don't trust you to check my seatbelt uh, anymore. Back in 2017. I'm scared to even go to Six Flags now in 2024. Just how they are now. Oh, yeah, you're good. I'm not strapped in. Hit the button. I feel like they they don't check. They're like on their phone and just like yeah, pulling your good, good. <laughs> pulling your strap, and it's like, <laughs> no, not good, not good. Most of the the roller coasters I slid out of were the ones at Six Flags. I'm telling you. See, then <laughs> then you're not good. That good. guy on the internet who pretends like he didn't fasten someone's seatbelt. I know you guys have probably seen this guy. Mm-hmm. He like he's like, wait he's a like oh shit, wait a minute, and then he sends them. He'll be yeah, like, oh, drop. you're not buckled, and then he drops them. Yeah, no, no. I would panic. I couldn't do it. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. But next question. What happened to Mr. Squishy? I read this question, right? And I was like, no, not my fish. You guys did a, a dive. Because, like, okay, okay, hear me out. We've all seen Nemo. Okay, you remember when they were trying to go to the toilet because it was going to take them home? Mm-hmm. 
the toilet was going to take the most. So my mind as a kid, I was like, okay. Okay, so I get my fish. And I'm like, I'm going to help him. He's going to get home. He's going to find his family. He's alone in the tank. He'd be much happier. Like, this is my kid brain after watching Nemo. It's horrible. It's so bad. And I was like, he's going to be much happier if I just send him home. So I'm like putting him in the toilet. I'm saying my goodbyes. I flush him. And my dad's like, where's your fish? I'm like, he's home now. <laughs> he's home. He's home with, with the, his family. I put him in the toilet like Nemo. And he was like, no, he's home with the Lord. <laughs> and, I was like, and I was like, no. And he was like, you killed him. I was like, and, my, and I'm a kid, right? My dad was like, yeah, he definitely hit a pile of poop. And then the next person to poop, he's dead. And I was like, no way did I just kill my fish. Because, like, he, I didn't, you know, I didn't know as a kid. I just watched the movie and thought because they were trying to get to the ocean through the toilet that that was, I mean, that was where my fish was going to go. You're not wrong. We were all in the same boat. One of my brothers tried to do that years ago, too. And my parents were like, no, 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 no. That's not how you send them. See, my dad didn't stop me. He was like, she'll learn a lesson. My parents stopped us, and we threw him in the lake. Because we had a lake, a house down from us, so we just put him in the lake. They probably got eaten by other fish. <laughs> it would have happened to them anyway if you would have put them anywhere else. I mean, if they, were to, if they were to never have been captured and stayed in the water forever, they'd have been eaten by another fish anyway. It was bound to happen. Yeah, fish commit suicide. He, like... So we, we had, I had two fish in the, in this tank and, uh, I, we were going on vacation. So I left it with my grandmother and so she was taking care of them and I come back and I was like, where's the other fish? And she goes, I, I don't know. I, it was in there yesterday. And so a couple weeks go by and her living her her kitchen area or dining room area starts stinking apparently it jumped out of the tank landed under on the chair went underneath the cushion wedged itself and died he and, wasn't happy he wanted to go yeah and then so the other fish that we had i ended up just giving the fish tank to her and the fish because she liked having a pet uh, she was older. She didn't get out much, but she ended up killing the fish due to obesity. She overfed it, and it Did got he get, so... like really fat, like mm -hmm. really fat, and to the point where it his, his stuff got clogged up, and it couldn't like filter water and all that, and so he died. Why? Why are fish deaths so like common? Like, and then you just buy another one. It's okay. I had to mm -hmm. cover a. Uh, agricultural class uh, Thursday and the teacher had a fish tank in her room and I asked the kids because she had a bunny in her room by the way that was fun and they she put in the teacher put in big bold letters coach do not let the bunny out at all while I'm gone because the kids were kept telling me they're like yeah coach one time a sub was in here and the bunny silo she got out and she just booked it down the hallway I said ah yeah let's not do that but they had a fish tank. I said, hey, where's the fish? Yeah, coach, they uh, they committed suicide into the feeder. I said, oh, okay. Those fish are ready to go. <laughs> they were watching too much Family Name Mojo. Yeah. They were like, we got to get out of here. For real. Mm -hmm. I mean. Devin, I don't think you know this story, but did I ever tell you about the last time I went to the beach? No. So I was, like, wading into the water, and there was, like, these three girls they're all like posing for like a selfie in the shallow water and i'm like okay whatever and out of the corner of my eye i see this gray thing and i turn right at the right time the fish jumps out slaps one girl in the face goes back into the water jumps out again slaps the second girl on the back of the head goes back in the water and then jumps up slaps the third girl like right here and it just goes down and i was like and i'm just looking at the girls like and they're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened. And they just run out of the water. And I'm like, nobody else saw that. 
Did they get it on film just at happened? least? Right there. You said they were taking a photo? Uh-huh. They should have got it on film. Should have started recording immediately. I should have. That would have been great. I, it was It was something else. Uh, Kyle, you have the next question. Oh, I thought you were about to no. say something. You look like you are about no, to say just, something. I'm just imagining three girls trying to take a photo. All of a sudden, beep, beep. Yeah. Uh, That's like something out of a movie. Like, like a movie, yeah. And I was like, nobody will ever believe me. <laughs> no, no, no one's ever going to. I almost didn't believe you. <laughs> yeah. Um, what has been your favorite thing that you've painted so far? Um... I think it's on my TikTok. It's a candle. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's my favorite, but it's like a, it's literally just like a black canvas and a colorful candle, mm -hmm. like blue and red, the flame. And then it's just, um, like the background of it. It's, it's, it's on a black canvas, but the background on it is really colorful. It's on my TikTok some, somewhere, I think. Um, it's one of my it's one of my favorites. I have no idea why. It's just it I think out of all the paintings I've done, I don't know, that one just turned out the best in my mind because my painting is sort of like a random thing I do here and there. It's not anything I get into like all the time. But mm -hmm. some days I just wake up and I'm like, I feel like painting something today. It just it's just it's, it's an aura. It's an aura that I just embody occasionally. The aura of Bob Ross. <laughs> the aura of Bob Ross. That Happy goes along with your next question, actually. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. uh, the next question was, what has been uh, what has been the most difficult thing to paint that you've tried to paint? It was just so difficult. I've tried to start doing, like, Bob Ross style, like, landscape, happy little trees and mountains. And they're, it, they're, they're, they frust they're frustrating, basically, to paint. So, like they're they turn out really good in the end it's like a painting really honestly if you think about it like you're not gonna mess it up i guess per se like because as long as you I, you you i don't know they're either one of you like art i was gonna say mm -hmm. artistic is the word i'm uh, looking for we're also the other one uh, yeah artistic in any way yeah um it's like it might not turn out exactly like you thought but nobody else is gonna see like the the small little things that you messed up on, mm -hmm. like nobody's gonna notice unless they're like they critique artwork on a daily basis. Like some random person off the street is not gonna go like, oh, well you messed up here and here and here. So that's what's really good about the because I know if you've seen Bob Ross paint, like he's just like slapping paint on and he's not paying any attention really. He's just slapping paint on a canvas and it ends up being like beautiful at the end. So you mm. really just have to trust the process. And yeah. that's what's annoying about landscape paintings. A lot of my art is hanging up at the college we went to. Nice. Uh, one of them is my face and I hate it. And you hate them, it? Yes, I hate it. I think it's awful. And everybody's like, it's really good. And I'm like, Yeah, no. that's, what I, that's what I mean. Like you, you can see it. Did you yeah. do it? Mm -hmm. so so it's like you can see like imperfections in it yeah. but other people are like oh this looks so good like i've got one hanging right over there and i hate it and my mom wants it and i'm like why do you want this and she's like because it looks so good and i'm like it's like crap i'm like what are you talking yeah. about but it's you did it so you're gonna you're gonna find all the little imperfections mm -hmm. that nobody else is gonna care about at the end of it so i would say don't even stress it it might look horrible to you, but if other people like it, that's all that matters. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, no, I'm not artistic. I, I'm just stick to being... He's the other one. He's the yeah, other one. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> uh, I'll ask the next question. Uh, what's everybody's drinks of choice here? Alcoholic and non-alcoholic? Non-alcoholic? I'm addicted to coffee so much so that I'm, like probably like somebody in rehab if i don't have it like just freaking out like i really like coffee and if i my don't have it at least a cup in the morning i'm not good for the rest of the day but alcoholic is probably wine but like a moscato like a sweet wine okay. it's my go-to yeah like a sweet wine or i can do beer but i'd, I'd rather drink like a, a moscato 
I don't like the bitter wine. I don't know how anybody gets through a whole glass of that. It tastes horrible, in yeah. my opinion. <laughs> I used to really like it in college, and then bitter wine or just bitter wine, and then oh. I found out I was allergic to my throat started swelling. So. Is it just bitter wine or like any wine? I have no clue. I've been too scared. <laughs> You're too scared. You should just try them all. See which one doesn't send you to the hospital. I, I tried a bunch of wines. I, because of me. Because of that. And then when me and my wife were on our honeymoon, I got like, so we were on a cruise, which I recommend this to everybody that wants to do a cruise trip. Get the drink package where you can drink like. Get the drink package. Because I mean, get the drink package where you can drink $50 wine as free as you want. Even though you paid for it, but you can drink as much as you want. Because I was drinking bitter wine. That was like $80. Like clear wine that was fifty dollars. I said, Haha, "I'm drinking all this for free because I didn't pay. We didn't pay for the drink package. Someone else bought it." I said, "This is nice," but I'm I'm iffy on the wines too. I'm hit or miss. I uh I I can't do bitter. It's 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 really just like the sweet wine that I can that I, and then some of them are almost like too sweet as well. Like you could go too sweet. It's it's got to be it's got to be perfect i think dublin dublin wine has like a habit of doing like really really sweet wine and some of theirs is just too sweet for me but i can't do too bitter either maybe like a good like middle i've, got, um, I've gotten to the point where i started drinking more sweet stuff and i started drinking more mixed stuff like yeah, you did back in the day i used to be just a crown royal guy with <laughs> coke but it's funny i always tell people the story it's like then one when me and my wife were on our cruise I wasn't drinking Crown Royals, and she's like, try a strawberry daiquiri. I was going around that ship with two strawberry daiquiris in my Yo. hands, just drinking just Yo. Them. A pina colada is where it's at as well. A good pina colada. I drink those at the little hotel bars at the beach. The little hotel bars I got, they'll whip up a, a really strong pina colada. They're really good. One, one that I recently discovered, it, it's a very simple mixed drink. It's... Um, it's fireball and lemonade. It's Is a weird good? combination, but it works really well together. I'm gonna have to try that. I'm gonna go out after this. I'm gonna have to try that. Mm -hmm. I, it's really good, especially. What did I have? Like, minute it's maybe? just lemonade mm -hmm. with like a shot of fireball in it. Yeah, you can. Typically, it's three parts lemonade, one part um, fireball. But I normally do like two to three shots of fireball in it and then the rest is just lemonade i'm gonna have to try that i'm gonna have to try that i'll try mm -hmm. it i'll give it a try oh yeah and, uh yeah uh laura that's pretty much all our questions uh where can the people find you at home i have twitch i have youtube and i have tiktok i'm mostly active on tiktok um and all of those are loki lauren 96 and those are my, my three places you can find me. Um, like I said, mostly active on TikTok, though. Okay. As always, guys, you can check me out on my podcast, The More Sports Podcast, The Sports Podcast for Everybody. And, of course, our movie podcast, Popcorn Buckets, where we review a movie every Sunday. And, of course, we have our YouTube channel, Random Incorporated, where you'll see the video versions of this podcast episode with other streamers that we've done as well this year. And you can follow us on social media. Follow us on Twitter at Random Corporate one and on Instagram as uh, Rando Boys, Rando Boys or Popcorn Boys, ah, and I just butchered it. I wore on Instagram as well as Rando Boys. And you can follow me on Twitch at DVIM25 and uh, and at TikTok at Devin Moore Comedy. Uh, Kyle, am I missing one? I don't think so. Probably, but we, we got the link tree in the yeah, description. link tree is in the description. Uh, Laura, do you have any <clears> last words? Um... It was it it's been it's been interesting. It's been fun and thank you for having me. All right. Until next time guys. All right, Kyle, did you did you end it? Stop it, Donald. No, I didn't. <laughs>